guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to use uh, some of the seasoning that I got uh, on a recent prepper haul that I had uh, at Dollar Tree. And I said I wanted to use it on some chicken that I was gonna make. So um, here we are. So this is the Southwestern Ranch Dip Mix. This is new at Dollar Tree. This is enticingly easy, it's called. So let's open this up and take a look at what it looks like. That's a very big box for a very little package. Now that looks like a lot of paprika in there. very orangey so that's why I figure it's uh oh wow that smells really good it smells a lot like like your taco seasoning it smells really really good okay I'm gonna set that there I've got a little bowl here I've got some garlic because I love garlic so we're gonna put some garlic in there I don't know I got a big old spoon so we're just gonna Fill the spoon up and put it in. I'm gonna say a tablespoon. If we have to go by measurements, I don't usually measure all that often. And probably a couple of tablespoons of mayo. All right. And our packet of seasoning. Mix that up. Show you what that looks like. Oh yeah, that smells good. Now I usually, when I make this chicken, I um, take a bunch of seasoning out and mix it up. So this kind of saves me from opening up those, you know, all those seasoning uh, bottles and like this. And that saves me just, I just dump it in. It's already measured out. Um, some things I might put more in, but that's okay. We'll be, we will live. All right, so I am going to use, I got these up that, on that prepper haul that I showed. And I'll put a link at the end of the video and down in the description if you guys want to see that prepper haul. It's very small, but it has some good ideas on things that you might not have thought of. So anyway, I'm going to use one of these and my baking pan here. I usually line it with aluminum foil and then spray it. But I'm going to use this to show you this is such an easy cleanup. So this is going to go right into my pan like so. I have some cooking spray so that the chicken doesn't stick. Give it a good hearty spray on there. Then I'm gonna bring you over here closer so you can see I have a bag of chicken thighs. I bought a big package of it and then I separated it into five, I think it was five thighs um, per bag, freezer bag. Sometimes I use my food saver but I did it for this one, probably because I knew I was going to use it right away. So I flattened these out, these thighs out. You could do this with chicken breast as well. If they're thick though, you might want to cut them, you know, in half. I have a paper towel here and what I'm gonna do is just dab these chicken off so that I can put on my um, seasoning with the mayo um, there it is right there look at how yummy that looks okay and then all I do and the mayo helps keep everything so moist of course, thighs stay moist anyway, but make sure I have enough for all. Two tablespoons does pretty good for mayo. Two heaping tablespoons um, does good. 
take a little bit from that one. This one's a little bit bigger than the others. But two tablespoons will do, heaping tablespoons will do for uh, five thighs for sure. Any more than that, I might want to go another, another, you know, teaspoon maybe, or even a whole tablespoon. It depends on how many extra you have. But the mayo helps definitely keep it moist while it's cooking in the oven. I do have the oven heating up at 425. There. Now I've got some breadcrumbs. These are Italian style. You can use whatever you want. And I just sprinkle it over the top. You can do as little or as much as you want. And you also could dredge it. You could dredge it in the mayo mixture and then dredge it in your breadcrumbs if you want. This works fine for me. It's less mess. in the oven at 425 for about 25 minutes so we'll see how they look when they come out okay so here is our southwestern ranch uh, dip mix it's just basically seasoning that was in this box here that I got from the Dollar Tree um, I forgot to put Parmesan cheese usually I put that in my mayonnaise spice mix so I didn't put that in so I sprinkled it on top it works it's fine um, so I'm gonna try it I also made some chicken uh, is it Lipton what is it hang on what is this stuff it's nor rice sides I made the chicken the chicken flavor it's rice and pasta blend in a savory chicken flavored sauce it's what I had that or Alfredo and Scott's not an Alfredo fan so we went with the chicken so I'm gonna cut that open Mm-mm, looks really, really good. Delicious. All right, I'll take a little bite and see what it tastes like. Mm. It's a little blah, to be honest. It's a little blah. Um, probably needs a little salt. Let me try another bite. Mm, that's a little better. I don't think I got enough of the sauce. Yeah, I didn't get enough of the sauce on the chicken. I got the edge. That's got a little bit of a kick to it. I can feel the, the peppery, the peppers on the side and back of my tongue. It's pretty good. I really like it. Not, not super hot. You could just feel a little bit of a peppery tingle on there. So anyway, guys, different idea. Instead of getting you know, all your spices out, your little, your little jars of spices, uh, maybe buy a few of these. You could take them out of the box and label them somehow, and that way you will have less, it'll take up less room, because these there was a really big box for a little tiny packet of spices. So anyway, Hope you enjoyed that little taste test and uh, try this chicken out. It's really, really good. It's one of my favorites. I've made it before, um, done a video on it. Again, I'll put the link down in the description, uh, down in the comments, probably up here somewhere. So try it out. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.